how to use the vector crop tool in Affinity Designer. Key thing is, it's in the tools panel. So just go over here and vector crop tool, select that. You need to select a shape, so just click it. And straight away, you can see you've got a crop box around the edge. You've got eight points that you can resize. So straight away, you can just resize that and crop that star. The star is still live. It's live all the way through. You can also do exactly the same with a group as well as an image. So you can just resize, just go to these corners there of this edge. And again, do that. You can also go to the center and just move the crop box around. You'll also notice if you go over here to the layers panel, you can expand it out and you can see all it is is a rectangle. That's it. That crop box is a rectangle. It's just a vector shape itself. So it's got sharp edges. So you can see the sharp edges. And with the star selected, just simply move that around. But you can also, at any point, go to the rectangle itself. So click the rectangle. And then what you can do, you can still continue to do all these things. Now at this point, you'll notice you can move that around. But you've also got an option now with the rectangle selected, if you go to the move tool, and that's the key thing, it's no use using the crop tool, doesn't offer the option, unfortunately. If you go to the move tool, select that, you can now convert that to curves, as well as also just rotate it. So instead of having it just a standard square, or rectangle, you can now rotate diagonally. You can still continue to do exactly the same things as before. Reposition that, resize it, move it around. And you have to be careful which one you select, the star, or the rectangle. Sometimes you might find you're selecting one and you don't mean that, select the other one and then you should get it to work. And you can resize, still continue, let's like say rotate, but you can also convert to curves. So convert to curves and that star is still live. The curve is no longer a rectangle, but it's still a vector crop. So if you go back to the vector crop, go here and you can see you can now still continue to resize it but it has been converted to a rect from a rectangle to a curve. So it does mean you can go to the node tool with that curve selected, that's the key thing. You can then just click on those nodes and you can change that crop. And you can say, make that sort of crop or add additional points. So click there and then just drag that out. So it creates a variety of different crop shapes, not just a rectangle. Also what you can do, Again, go back to the crop and you can see then you still get that rectangle, but it's still now a crop which you can still continue to manipulate, resize, position, etc. Drag around, etc. Also, select the star. So if you select the star and again, make certain you've got the star tool selected. As soon as you do that, you can change the number of points. So if you decide, oh, I don't want 22, I want 15 or 14 or whatever. You can just change that. But again, at any point, all these crops, all these various options, all still live. You need to select, obviously, the star tool to actually manipulate the star. But again, go back here to the crop and you've still got the crop live. So again, you can still resize, reposition that crop, move it around and so on. And again, select that and move that. All those options are still available. That's for that, that's for that star. What you can also do, let's just move that. You can delete at any time as well. Just simply delete the rectangle from here if you want to do that way. Now I've got this one. It's a group. Now if I was using them individually, so if I expand this out, this group, it's actually made up of number of shapes, number of curves. So you can see rectangle, rectangle, lots of rectangles. If I was doing the crop tool, if I go and select the vector crop tool and select two or three of them, they will be cropped only if I want to crop the entire group, select the group, again go back to the vector crop, and now you can see what happens. You've got this crop all the way around there, so you can crop that as well. Do the exact same as before, just resize, go here, drag that down, and again, exactly, you've got a rectangle, just appears there. Now you'll notice this rectangle doesn't have a color. This rectangle is not like these rectangles. So this rectangle, you can still manipulate this, now you can't rotate. Don't know why that option is not available, but it's not available via the vector crop tool. If you want to do that, again, just go back up here to the move tool, select that, 
And now you can rotate that. You can rotate it at this point, you can see the shape being rotated. Let's just drag that. That is not what you want to do. What you want to select is the rectangle, so you rotate that. You have to select the right thing. If you don't select the right thing, you'll be rotating the entire block, or if you select the rectangle, you're rotating the crop. It's quite easy to make a mistake. I often do it and I'm suddenly deciding resizing. I think, oh, no, I'm resizing the wrong thing. Quite easily done. And again, you can continue. And it's still, you've got this, you can manipulate, you can do shearing. So you can shear the crop as well. And again, it's still a rectangle. Again, you can go back here to the vector crop tool so you can still see it as a crop and you can still see now you've got the crop there. So it keeps it nicely like that, which is quite handy. And again, you can continue to crop that rectangle. But you can also, again, go back to the move tool and convert to curves. And it needs to go back to the move tool to do that. So with that move tool selected, the rectangle selected there, I can convert that to curves. So it's no longer a rectangle, so click rectangle. And now I can go, because it's conveniently selected the node tool, then I can just resize that, reposition. That's still the crop, so it's still cropping. You've still got that live set of rectangles. They're still there. You can still select individual ones. So if you want to, you can still go to this rectangle, and what you can see there, it's modified it. And you can modify it, change the color. So you maybe click there, and you say, oh, you know what, I want it to be green. And you can see it's still green there, so then click there, and I can go back to this, and I can reposition it. And now, if, see if I reposition it, you can see that underlying shape, that crop. And again, if I go back to the crop tool, you can still see that sheared crop, but it's still live, and I can still resize, reposition, etc. I can also do the same, and let's just delete all that. This one, this is an image. I place this image and I can do exactly the same. Again, with that selected, go to the crop tool. As soon as you do that, again, you get this, these eight points around the edge. And I can do exactly the same with resize that. So I can just crop it to say that. If that's a real interesting part of the design, so you've got lots of images you want to put for web pages or something, or you're doing for documents. Because of course, the great thing about Affinity is you've got photo, You've also got Publisher, so you can go backwards and forwards to the different applications, and all of these will be respected in each of the applications. And you can continue to modify this, resize it, and so on. But also, again, you've got the same rectangle. So click there, and with that, go to the Move tool, and now you can see you can move that around. That's still the crop. Still, you can reposition it, but now you can rotate it. Or maybe go here, let's just go this side. It's probably better. Oh, doesn't, oh, there it is. Sometimes it doesn't appear, that shearing option. Sometimes, sometimes I'm hovering over there, sometimes I'm looking for it. It will occasionally, got to go to this one. Or again, there it is. Just occasionally appears, sometimes it doesn't. So it's one of those, there it is. So you can shear it at those angles. And again, exactly the same as before, continue. Go to the vector crop tool and continue to move this around crop this design, and again, you can see it's obviously taking that shear. But also, again, click the Move tool. With the Move tool selected, again, you can still continue to rotate that crop. It's still selected there. Of course, you can select the shape as well, that image. But what you can also do, convert to curves. That needs to be selected, the Move tool. So, convert to curves. So now you've got Nodes, again, conveniently selects the node tool, and you can then click here, and you can reposition that, click there. So you can create all kinds of very interesting crop designs using this vector crop tool. Again, select the vector crop tool, and you've still got this crop here, and you can see you can still crop design, move it around, reposition, and so on. Whole variety of different designs, can be created, and again, you can combine it with text and much, much more. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.